Welcome back, folks. Joining us today is our good friend Robin Grabowski from Center Wildlife Care. Robin, thank you so much for being with us. Thank you for having me. So, and you, yes, you have a new friend here, Peanut. Uh, yeah. What what kind of turtle is Peanut? Peanut is a spotted turtle, um, and their habitat is actually marshy areas around the Great Lakes and eastern United States, all the way down to Florida. Wow. Um, and they used to be the most common uh, turtle found in the wild, especially around New York. Um, but now they're a species of special concern. They're illegal to have as pets. You have to have a special permit, which we have, um, to actually possess them for educational outreach. So uh, for, for people at home who don't know what that designation means, special concern, what does that mean for the animals? Well, that means they have extra protection. Okay. Um, examples of uh, turtles that are species of special concern uh, spotted turtles, box turtles, wood turtles. These turtles are uh, have substantially declined in numbers and they're concerned about their conservation. And so to uh, prevent or to, to try to conserve them, um, it's illegal to have them as pets and you have to have a special permit to even use them for educational outreach like zoos and environmental centers. Wow. So obviously it's, it's a spotted turtle because it has spots on it. Yes, yes. And they're actually also called the polka dot turtle because they have spots. Yeah. And so um, the finder actually had this turtle for several years. They found it in um, Butler County. Actually, this turtle is from Zillianople. And I, and, and I grew up in Fombell near Zillianople, or Zilly as the locals would call it. Yeah. And, um, uh, and so I'm familiar with that area. So actually, we don't have spotted turtles here in central PA. They're actually in Western and Eastern PA, um, but, uh, but I thought it was just a cool little guy to show. Yeah. Um, so have you guys ever had a spotted turtle with you there or? We have, we actually got um, some several years ago um, for rehabilitation. We work with the Fish and Boat Commission and sometimes they get confiscations that are sick. And so we help them if they get sick turtles um, and rehabilitating them and getting them well again. And so we had one that was actually confiscated years ago that was sick and we had a special permit for rehabilitating it and actually keeping it for education, but it died from its illness from because um, it had been sick for so long, but we had the permit in place and we had a chance to acquire peanut for education. We, we jumped on the opportunity. And so, as you know, we rehabilitate everything from bunnies to bald eagles, but we also rehabilitate reptiles. And a lot of people don't realize that they need antibiotics and pain medicine if they're injured, just like dogs, cats, people, and other animals. So we make sure that if an animal, like turtles come in all the time hit by cars. Um, and we even get snakes that are injured and we give them pain medicine and antibiotics to help them recover. Is it difficult to try to administer that to a, a snake or a turtle, trying to get them to take their medicine? It depends um, on turtles, uh, box turtles especially, they're pretty tight lipped. When they clamp, <laughs> not only do they clamp their beak down, <laughs> they clamp their shells because box, turtle, box turtles can close their, they have a hinge shell and they can close their shells. Now, Peanut doesn't have a hinge on her shell, but um, some of them are, are a little bit more of a challenge than others, that's for sure. <laughs> tight lipped turtle, I like that. <laughs> Uh, so, so Robin, uh, what are some of the educational opportunities that, that Peanut kind of presents to, to you guys there? Well, we do lots of different educational uh, programs. Now, right now, everything has been canceled because of COVID, but we do um, in-person uh, programs with uh, live animals, including Peanut or birds of prey or mammals, such as our skunk or our sugar glider or possum. Um, and uh, and we have lots of reptiles too. And so actually we're considering doing some virtual programs if people are interested in, in that. Yeah, that would be awesome. I mean, I know uh, uh, parents are going crazy with trying to keep their kids <laughs> occupied at home. Yes, that's uh, great. So Robin, if someone comes across a, a turtle like Peanut or any other animal that's in need, how can they contact you? They can uh, contact us online, um, wildaboutanimals.net or centerwildlifecare.org, or certainly call us anytime at 814-692-0004. Robin, thank you so much for taking the time, and uh, thanks, thanks to Peanut for taking the time as well. Thank you. <laughs> Folks, we have much more still to come. Stay with us. Studio A.